Happy Halloween, everyone. In real time, it is October 26th today, but we are going to a fall festival today, the same one we went to last year. And just like last year, uh, we let our daughter pick what she wants to be for Halloween, and then we choose something that kind of goes along with the theme. So this year, she is going to be Captain Marvel. My husband is Superman, and I decided to go with Poison Ivy. Um, initially, our daughter picked Wonder Woman, so we were thinking, hey, we'll stick in the DC universe and to be honest I'm not too familiar with a lot of the female DC characters uh, but Poison Ivy I think is pretty familiar uh, then she changed to Captain Marvel which is totally fine it doesn't really matter um, but I thought the just the red and green would be really fun to play with and really easy because if you look up kind of Poison Ivy makeup you can really do whatever you want with it. Red, green, you could paint yourself green like comic style. I just figured it would be kind of easy to go with so I am probably going to do this voiceover style because I am in a rush as is typical because I've been working on my costume all day. I'll try and insert a picture of the costume at the end um, if I can get that all together. Hope you enjoy the tutorial. Happy Halloween. Here we go. Just a quick note to start, I'm going to be talking about all the products I use in this video in very general terms, but I will of course list all of the specific products and colors and all of that down below. So just putting on a lot of primer here because I am caking the makeup on today. Speaking of which, that's the step we're on here, I'm dotting some full coverage foundation, like an excessive amount of full coverage foundation, all over my face because I'm going for a really dramatic, perfected kind of look. And you know, it's Halloween. There's no room for subtlety on Halloween. So I'm just spending quite a bit of time blending this into my skin. And then to make sure the finish is just nice and smooth, I'm going over everything with a dampened beauty sponge. Moving on to some cream contour and bronzer, I'm putting some of this under my cheekbones and just using the same brush I use for foundation to blend it out. And I'm just building and blending as I need to. So that's going under my cheekbones and along my hairline. I'm wanting to do all of my cream products first. Now I'm using some concealer under my eyes and in the center of my face, all of the areas that I want to be highlighted and bright, but to make the contrast even more significant, I'm using some white foundation in these areas too. I probably didn't even need to use the concealer, I think just the white foundation would have been fine. Sticking with the trusty sponge to blend everything out. And now I'm going to use some powder products to set all these creams using a very cool toned gray contour color under my cheekbones and along my hairline where I put the cream bronzing products. It's time for some baking, which is something I've never really tried, so I was pretty excited to try this. I'm uh, using my damp sponge, putting lots of powder on all those highlighted areas, but I forgot I first wanted to try and contour my nose, another thing I've never really done. I think it's working, is that working? And then just kind of bringing that same cool color up to the front of my eyebrows and continuing to put powder everywhere. Well, not everywhere I guess, just those areas that I want to stay nice and bright. Now I'm using a burgundy eyeshadow to fill in the tail ends of my eyebrows and then going with more of a brighter true red color to fill in the front section. Finally going to be moving on to some eyeshadow using some eye primer and blending it with a brush because I feel like my hands were a mess at this point and I didn't want to get color everywhere. Now I'm starting to blend just a true matte green eyeshadow into the crease of my eye and very appropriately the name of this eyeshadow is Ivy. Figured that would be the perfect shade to start with. Now I'm moving on to a bit of a lighter green, it's kind of a lime green color and I'm just using that to blend out my crease color to make it a nice smooth gradient. How many names for green do I know? This is kind of a slightly deeper forest green, does that sound right? I'm putting that in my outer corners, kind of the outer V of my eye and 
a little bit in my inner corner as well. Now it's time for some metallic green. I'd say this is kind of a metallic forest green as well. Just using a flat brush to apply that all over my eyelid. And of course, gotta have some glitter. Putting on some glitter primer and then just tapping the glitter right over the top. Just right in the center of my eye. And then another exciting part. I was so excited to dust off all of this powder and see see what it looked like, see if it did its job. It felt very satisfying to brush all of this away. And I think it did a great job of really keeping everything bright and highlighted. I am smudging some black pencil eyeliner on my waterline, which I hate the feeling of, and then also smudging that on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to use the original green shade I use, Ivy, to smudge out that liner. Doing the same thing on the other side. And then I'm using a little bit of that brighter lime green shade to keep buffing out my lower lash line so it is nice and smoky and smooth. And then a little more eyeshadow here. Can you guess what color? <laughs> this time I'm using a bright green in my inner corner, but it's got a gold shift. Very pretty shade. A little random step here, just filling in my beauty mark, mole, whatever that is, with a little brown eyeliner since it was all covered up. Moving on to highlighter. This is a highlighter with a green shift. I use another highlighter with a green shift coming up because I feel like I had so much powder on my skin that the powders just weren't sticking very well. Wasn't looking amazing, so the last highlighter I'm using here is a white, kind of shimmery highlight for some brightness. And then I'm buffing all of those together, buffing everything out because I feel like it was looking a little rough. And I used magnetic lashes for this look, so I'm just applying some black magnetic liquid liner to my lash line. And since it's kind of a thicker formula and takes a bit to dry, uh, I just wanted to move on to something else. Did some blush in the meantime. I'm just using a matte mauve blush, kind of in the areas where I contoured. And then when there's less product on the brush, put that on the apples of my cheeks. I am applying some mascara before I put on the magnetic lashes. And I do let this dry for a little bit before I put the lashes on. But I'm just going to not edit the timing of this. Um, putting magnetic lashes on magnetic liner is so easy. Um, I am working on a review of the liner that I used here, so keep an eye out for that. But... It's, they're just so easy. You know, you can make adjustments if you put it in the wrong place. So I put on one pair of lashes and I decided needed a little more drama. So I decided to try and stack them. Um, I wasn't sure if two separate layers of magnetic lashes would stick, but they definitely did and it ended up looking awesome. So final makeup step is the lip color. And I will just mention that this is the Fenty Beauty uh, Stunna Lip Paint in Uncensored. Just wanted to mention that because it is the most beautiful red I have ever seen. Certainly the most beautiful one I've ever owned and I just love it. It is the perfect red. And that is it. Here is the final makeup look. And of course a close-up, just so you can see how my skin looks, how everything looks up close, how ridiculous the highlighter looks. It's a little intense. And I thought I'd go ahead and show uh, how the makeup looked with the red hair. Um, so I'm just putting on a wig cap right here. I am expertly putting on the wig right now. All right, trying that again. Wig is on. And while I endlessly fiddle with it, getting it adjusted on my head, I just thought I'd show you guys the rest of the costume. Uh, the suit is actually one of those suits that covers your whole body, your feet, hands, your head, and your face and everything. So I just, I cut off the head, I cut off most of the sleeves, um, altered the neckline and sewed some ivy on there. The skirt is three layers of 
different colors of green tool sewed onto elastic. I put a snap so I could snap it in the front, sewed some ivy onto the front of that, kind of leaving an open um, an open slit in the front. And then the gloves and ivy you can get at a Halloween store, um, or you can get ivy at the craft store, which I did as well. And then the wig is from a costume shop that is local to our area. And so here is the final look with the red hair pulling it all together. Don't know what that black thing is, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, really appreciate you being here, and please have a very happy and very safe Halloween. See you next time.